this is the secret weapon that allows me to launch ads 10 times faster. It's a tool called admanage.ai. So I'm gonna walk you through it how I use it. So first of all, you go here and you upload the images. Let's say this one, this one, they are the same one and this one and this one. It's gonna be super fast, but uh, while this is uploading, I can walk you through the um, setting stage. So basically here in the integrations, you can connect it to Google Drive, Notion, Dropbox, Frame.io. So you can actually sync ads right away instead of uploading like what I did at the moment. Uh, you first authorize it with your uh, Facebook ad account. So basically you select the ad account uh, and you can define the primary ad copy, headline, description, call to action, as well as the landing page. And here you define Facebook and Instagram uh, pages. Basically, that's going to be your pre-defaulted page and uh, ad copy and everything when you're launching the ads. So you can also make pre-defaulted uh, state of all the creative enhancements. As you can see, I hate them. So I turn them all off. You can also have some additional features that you want to use like multi-advertiser ads or promo codes. Uh, whether you want ads to be launched as paused or active uh, with the post ID, stuff like that. And you can define the naming convention. I usually like to use just a file name unless I have a specific naming convention that I need to use. So this is something that I mostly predefine for every client. And then if we go to launch section, so basically you select the ad account and you already have pre-built your Facebook and Instagram uh, page. And then you have the ad copy uh, pre-built as well. So once I have that, there are two things. Basically, this allows you to um, create duplicate of the existing set. So basically most of my ad creation is happening in the testing campaign. So basically all of my settings on the ad set level are the same. So think of it as a, like a shell ad set or a template ad set, where basically I have broad audience excluding buyers. I have country already predetermined. So basically if you go here, but you type one of the ad set that you want to duplicate, let's say this is the ad set that I know is in my testing campaign. So when you click this, it shows you exact the same name, but let's say I want to launch it in a week then I would put like here and this is, let's say, this is that I have new statics, new statics. Uh, I just want to define the name. You can put it whether you want it active or inactive. But the thing is, I don't, I don't want this to be launched right away. If you do not change this, uh, then it would be launched right away. So basically I would go here, pick the date in a week. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to change the budget, it would allow you. If not, it would just copy the budget that you already have set up. So it would tell you, hey, duplicating the ad set. Once that's ready, you'll be able to uh, predetermine the ads. It just takes like five to 10 seconds. Okay, it's ready here. It asks you to load the media so you can when you click here, you can see here, you have a tag for the ads that were not launched compared to these that were launched. So there are two ways you can do this. You can, let's say, select these four ads because those are four images. Those are two images, uh, two formats uh, for two images. You add them here. And if you're using proper naming convention, it would do the grouping right away per query and story. If not, you can set here, set multi-placement, and then you select here, here, and bam. It would be one ad here, here, it would be another ad. When you click done, it's all ready. So it knows that on this ad, it should append this nine by 16. If you want to maybe use different ad copy, uh, you can click here where it leads me to the table view and then you can change, hey, I want to change this copy. I want to change this headline. But if not, if you want to use the same ad copy, same headline, same description, same call to action, same landing page, then you leave it like this. But as I said, sometimes you want to have different ad copies or like you have male one ad that's going for females. When you click ads, it would be published right away in the ad account. What I wanted to show you, which is pretty cool, instead of uploading the creatives, you can go here, Google Drive, and then uh, just upload creatives right away. It would save you some time because you don't have to download and upload. And basically when you launch the ads, it would be right away uh, in the ad account. Some additional features that I requested from the team and they pretty much enable it within a couple of uh, days is that I have a preview of the creatives that I import from Google Drive. I requested uh, ability to change the thumbnail 
and I requested ability to import the creatives from a uh, media library. The team is mov moving super fast. And honestly, this is the only tool that allows me to streamline the creative uh, launch process. I did try several different tools. All, they all had some problems. Uh, which pretty much were not uh, better than the ads manager. So that's why this is the first tool that I'm using for the bulk ad creation. If you have any questions about how to use it, uh, just let me know in the comments. The tool is admanage.ai. Cheers, guys.